Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hixie Dust, and we'll be starting episode two of the Stellaris playthrough. Last time I was here, I spoke the importance of technical research. You don't want to fall behind, because as the same time you're playing, there are computer-generated empires doing the exact same thing you're doing. So you want to try to make sure that you don't fall behind. Some of the empires you encounter may be friendly. Others, though, may try to shake you down for resources or even just start an all-out war for you. War with you over planets. So it's important that you uh, get yourself on the right path. So this will enable us to build cheaper star bases and help with expansion. Deep scans of Dimus, Dimus have revealed a large ocean heated by hydrothermal vents beneath the ice mantle covering the surface. Science officer Urba dispatched probes from the XMF ramrod that drilled through several miles of thick ice and found the water below teeming with what appears to be life. We will need more resources to conduct a thorough study of the many unique life forms inhibiting this ocean, inhabiting this ocean. So this gives us like a nice, <laughs> so that's going to give us like a quest almost go back to the so if you go to your situation law you can see anything along those lines anomalies wow right now we're 10th <laughs> So we're going to, we're going to have our science officer go research what we just found. Our, our construction ship built our star base so we can start expanding into this system. There are signs of activity by an ancient precursor civilization in the vicinity of this gas giant. Antares. Relative difficulty is Our hellish. Construction is complete. Uh, I'm going to give it a go. Let's, why not? Let's see what happens. Our special project is complete. Okay, Science Officer Urbaz returns from the expedition that studied the rich biosphere in the seas beneath the ice mantle of Stymus. Our underwater probes have mapped the terrain and cataloged most of the life forms, although this data may be some use to biologists. Biologists, no particular discoveries have been made that would make any, that would have any implications beyond that. So, that really just gave our scientists experience points, which isn't bad. There's nothing else that really can come out of that, but that's all right. Construction ship. Let's build over here. Build a starbase outpost. Our construction is complete. This construction ship is done, so let's send him off somewhere. We'll go over here, build this starbase. And as you can see, 
that reduces our alloys. Alloys are what's needed to build spacecraft and space stations. So when that goes low, you kind of have to give it a minute and you got to refresh. Consists of seven ships. Technology conceived. Food eco simulation. Farming techniques can further be refined through sophisticated computer simulations of different environments and weather patterns. This allows for more predictable crop yields. Gives us a 20% increase in food production. Where do we want to go with next? I'm going to go with food processing facilities. That's going to take about 45 months, and the other researches seem to be going well. Our construction is complete. Okay, things are moving pretty nicely. As you can see, the more systems you inhabit, the more your boundaries will grow. Then eventually, we'll come across some other life forms or some other empires, and they'll have a similar boundary. This here is if you want to manually sell off some of your research resources, you can make automatic trades every month to try to increase some of your currencies, or you can do one-time payments. See if anything picks that up. Our construction is complete. So that <clears throat> that tradition we just bought will give us extra population when we go in and decide we want to inhabit a new we planet. Perfect. Things are going pretty well.
Let's build a couple more ships. Our construction is complete. Construction is complete. We have found an anomaly. There is significant scarring on the surface of this world in a pattern that cannot be natural from orbit. The massive rift looks like a writing. Let's do it. Now, star bases you can eventually upgrade to be like shipyards and space platforms, but you can only have a certain number of those based on the size of your empire. So as you grow, you can eventually start upgrading your star bases to be shipyards and military staples for your empire. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to carve a large body of writing into the surface of Eristilia 2. The massive script covers a large portion of the planet's upper hemisphere and appears to be a short story chronicling the difficulty, the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. I guess that's one way to get your autobiography out there. Just carve it onto a planet's surface. This science ship said they had done. Go over this way. Technology conceived. Okay, so they finished the coil. This was, I believe, the coil. No, the coil guns are down there. Synaptic enhancers, research speed plus Our five percent. Absolutely, absolutely going to want to do that. Build mining stations. Technology conceived. All right, that's the coil guns, the defense. Let's do mining station output plus 10%. Absolutely, we're going to do that. kind of unknown structures are floating in this gas giant's upper atmosphere. They appear to be using aerostatic lift to remain buoyant. 
Let's go for it. Let's research it. The cool thing about this game is every time you start a game, your universe is randomly Our generated. Is which means you're going to come across different things every time you play. You're never going to come across the same res researches in the same... You're never going to come across the same um, findings in the same game in the same order. Everything will be different. A small aerostat colony was found floating just above the atmosphere of Grocon 5. It appears to have been self-sufficient and remains from several different species were found on board. As best we can tell, the colony was some kind of social experiment conducted centuries ago that ultimately ended with the colonists <laughs> massacring each other. We have downloaded all of the data found in the colony's limited data banks. Okay. So... We get society research gained from that. It's a little dark. Oh, that's why I can't build there. The scientist who was here is doing something. So I'm just gonna have to wait. <laughs> Construction is complete. We have found an anomaly. Unusual readings. Okay, Grokon four. Unusual readings suggest they may be more to this desolate world than meets the eye. Let's research it. More traditions. Let's check out, see what we can do. Colony development speed increased by 25. Oh, that's for the, um, I think the whole... Administrative capacity increased by 20. Millions of star drones will die, so the hive may live. Star base upkeep reduced by 20%. Let's do that one. Oh. 
it seems the apocalypse has come to Grocon for many times over. Surface scans reveal that the planet has been scorched, bombarded, seared, and peppered in what is surely some of the most extensive weapon testing we have yet to encounter. Though countless attempts have been made to obliterate the planet entirely, it appears the aliens did not yet developed a technology for it. Science Officer Urbar has collected an assortment of broken weapon remains in hopes of recreating their designs. Analyze the samples or leave. But we're going to analyze the samples. Why not? Just gonna give this another couple minutes, guys, and then we're probably gonna cut the episode. I wanna see what happens. Our construction is complete. Okay. We have surveyed the system. Oh, okay. The survey, this system is done. So we can finally start expanding again. We're going to build a star base here. If you lead your ships out in outer space, it kind of increases their upkeep. You want to make sure you keep them as close to one of your stars, main star clusters if they're not doing anything. And that kind of saves you on their upkeep. But guys, we're going to cut the video here today. I think we had a very successful run of this. The, expand the Empire's Our expanding nicely. The technologies are increasing. So I want to thank you guys for joining me on this episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And I hope you guys continue to watch. Like and subscribe. Um, and we'll see you on the next video.